All right, let's do a size comparison. Here, all right, let's do a size comparison. Here I got the NPM Bumblebee, although the Dino is not NPM range. <laughs> Get it done. Hello, hello, hello! Welcome back to Dream Sons. Today we're gonna do a review of The Dance of the Dead BS01 Alloy Virgins, aka The Dark of the Moon Oversized Dino. And correct, this is another upscale oversized based from the third party design Alien Attack that released years ago. And I still remember many years ago before the NPM Bumblebee release, one of the guys custom made and created this transformable figure based on the model Ferrari 458. And instantly it's become my most wanted figure on my list. And finally, months later, Alien Attack released the STF 01. And sure, I have to get this bad boy. And today I'm gonna review the oversized version and do some deep comparison with the original design. Let's have a look at the box. On the side we can see Dance of the Dead been listed out. And then the other side on the back is the same artwork at the front. And same on the other side as well. At the bottom they have a QR code that you need to scan the QR code by WeChat to get the transformation videos. But now you're with me so no worry, you can see my video to get the clear transformation tips. Alright, here we go the figure. The figure packed up with very very nice clear clamshell. We can see the figure with the all accessory. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. We have Dance of the Dead on the tables. The first I opened it, I was really amazed with the color. It painted in bright red. It's actually close to Ferrari 458. But the accessory is not as much as the Alien Attack version. Alright, let's have a closer look. When you open the box, and this is how it display, and actually the five part, it hasn't transformed in the correct way. All you need is using the double hinge, moving this section forward, and you can clip on in place. And after that, you need to rotate the back wheel up like so, just cover over the front sections. And the back panel can be covered in this position, right behind the wheels. And also both of the back door, there is a tab that you need to squeeze in, like so. Now this is correct way for display. But again, if I miss anything, if you see it, please leave the comments below and let me know. Oh yes, never forgot the both arm blade. It's very easy to install. Just pinch it in on the both arm, and here you go. All right, let's do a comparison with the original designs. As you can see, the first thing you will spot on is the color. The alien attack represent more darker red, and the BS01 present more bright red, and also more glossy finish. And yet, the oversized version actually got more detail molded in place. Let's get a closer look. First is the arm blade. Both of the arm blades surprisingly in the same scale. On the right one is from BS01, on the left one is Alien Attack. And we compare it together, it look identical. The first thing is the pins. On the oversized pin is a lot bigger compared to Alien Attack versions. It looks too obvious. I don't understand, you can actually make the pin smaller, right? And at the back, they have a different pin. Alien Attack version, they use a screw. On this oversized version, they're using a pin. If they're too tight, you have no way to unscrew to adjust or do anything. And also, the Cybertronium prints on the Alien Attack versions, which they don't have in the oversized versions. Other than that, both version arm blades come with the same detail. The good news is, you can swap them to use on the both sides, because the joint pin are the same side. For the review purpose, I will keep the oversized blade with him. Talk about tight fit, and this is an alien attack. They are nice and not too tight. But come to the oversized, you can see the blade is really really tight and it's difficult to move to the angle that I want and there's no way I can make it loose. And that make me prefer the alien attack version arm blade. And moreover, there's another thing. You can see from the lower torso from alien attack figure, they do have a grill detail. But the oversized, they actually removed it. But the good news is the oversight adds a lot more detail on the arm and the paint job is looks great. And also the tie part and the knees also come with great detail. And the more obvious is the lower leg. Compared to the original Alien Attack version, the oversight version added a lot more motor detail and a better paint job. And come to the feet, and here we can see the oversight version actually have a basic fission joint. And the Alien Attack actually come with ball joint. The both feet come with the same detail with the die cut parts. The back wheel actually has some gimmick. Right behind the wheel, you can see a pinch that you need to push the pinch 
to release these sections. This design actually from the original Alien Attack version, and I'm so glad they kept it. But in the oversized version, it comes too loose. After it release, and you can see they're wiggling around. But compared to Alien Attack, that is nice and solid. I think it's a design flaw. Hopefully, the one you get doesn't have this problem. Other than this, except the paint job, all looks identical. The different only the size. Oh yes, I have to mention the BS01, the one I get, actually have a paint chip on top of the chest part that I have already required exchange part, and hopefully they will get back to me as soon as possible. And also the head sculpt looks identical, but oversized to do better, right? I especially like the eyes on the oversized. The paint jobs and detail make it look more pop out. Here is the bag. They both looks identical. The oversized version didn't do anything about the backpack. And here is the size view. All right, let's do a size comparison. Here I got the NPM Bumblebee. Now we can see this scale actually match with the NPM range. Although this Dino is not masterpiece range, but they look good together. Let's compare an oversized figure from Black Mamba, the size swap. Both of them are oversized and not NPM range, but they look good together though. And now we have NPM Jazz, and compared with the size, it's quite accurate. As we all know, Jazz is actually smaller compared to the other character. All right, next we have Leader Cast Sentinel Prime, and you can see because it's not NPM range, compare this oversized Dino to the Leader Class, it's just too big. And now get back to original Alien Attack Dino, and the size it looks a lot more accurate. All right, next compare with the Big Brother Optimus Prime from Black Apples. And you can see the skill is fantastic because the Black Apple Optimus Prime designed to be bigger than NPM range, and now it looks perfect match. And here we come the articulation check. The head based on ball joint that you can rotate and do all angles. Especially because of transformation purpose, they have a joint at the front, so you can move the head a bit forward and backward. The arm base is ball joint that you can rotate in 360, and also they have an upper arm swivel. When you turn it, you might also move by the ball joint. But actually, under it, they do have a swivel joint, and there is a swivel joint at the elbow side. The elbow come with a double joint because of the transformation purpose, so they can do a huge range of movement. On this section, you can move up for installing the weapons, and the finger is fully articulated, can do all different poses. The good news is they are nice and tight. I really love that they done a good job on this. The waist can be rotate but a limited range, and the leg can move forward that far, also can be moved back that far. Under the ball joint there is a tight swivel point, and the ankle based on double joint can be bent on this way. Under the lower leg there is another joint that you can bend. Now talk about the feet. Even it's not come with ball joint, but they can do a full range of articulations, including side tilting and also back and forward. And all toes are individually articulated. Also at the back of the lower feet, this whole section can be moved up and down individually as you prefer. So far, I love this figure. Not only the design, it's the articulation point. He can achieve all different poses easily. But again, the credit had to go back to original design, which is the Alien Attack Dino. All right, let's check out the included weapon for this figure. Same as Alien Attack figure, this comes with two hook, and this hook can be articulated in silver point. It seems like it can be grabbing anything. And the color represent a bit more darker, close to the alien attack. But it's a shame I can't find my alien attack hook to do a comparison for you guys. It also come with two whip, and this whip based on the soft metals. You can bend to a different style that you prefer, and they can be attached easy to the hook. This soft wire is really easy to control and stay in the shape, so you can do some dynamic pose that you like. It's really easy to attach the other end to the figure. There is a hole on the arm sections, and also this part can be moved up, and it depends how you like to attach. And I prefer to do this way. All right, everyone, here come the transformation. Let's transform. First, remove both blade. We start from the hand first. 
Open up all the finger and rotate. Move up these sections and fold the arm to the shoulder like so. And we do the same on the other arm. And this is how it looks like. Next, we have to detach the doors and also the back sections. And we move this part down slightly. Open up the back sections. Fold it out and rotate. And in this section, which is the front hood, we can rotate first, unfold it, line up correctly, and then we can drag it out like so. After that, we join these two parts together. And now we start the leg transformation. The first, we need to release inside these sections, like so. And on the side panel, we open up this part and rotate. And the wheel, make sure you push in these sections and rotate in this angle and open up the thigh here is the double joint make sure you flatten it like so and then this lower panel can join up together fold it in these all panels and tilt the feet in this way like so and fold all the toes now we can start folding from the lower feet to the thigh until you see it sit correctly and we do the same on the other leg After you've done this, is how it looks like. We start working on the chest part, move up these sections, open up the inside wheel. And we can disattach this bumper part. And we can start transform these sections. Open up, rotate, and fold it back in. This is one part that really amazed me. The engineering is wonderful. We separate the chest part, open it like so. And this panel, we have to open it. Unfold the whole sections like so and at the same time the head will go inside the body and make sure you fold these two parts all the way inside Fold both hands inward Gently push it down make sure they stay in place and now we can start working the front bumper again Line it up correctly As you can see there is a hook on these sections Push these two part of headlight panels lock it in place and on the side, you can see these sections. Line it down and push it, and it will lock in place. After that, we can close the front hood. And you can see the peak under the hood and the tail light sections. Line it up correctly and push it in. And next is the pin that you can see there. Just push it in and lock it in place. And next, we rotate the front wheel in these directions. As you can see, there is a gap there and the peak. Make sure you line up correctly and simply fold it down and it will lock the wheel. And so far, the front area has done. And next, we move on to the leg part. We fold the leg inward like so, line it up correctly. And this is how it looks. And we join up together these top sections. On the side of the vehicle, you can see these panels. There is a pin there and a hole need to move it in the right directions and lock it in place like so perfect fit we line it up the back panel like so fold it in push the pin in and lock it in place and this is how it look like simply push the back two light sections line up like this and then there is a pin on the side which we need to push it in and the final step is the door side as you can see there is a pin there and a hole Using the double joint on the door side, make sure you push it all the way in. And it will line up correctly so we can lock it in place. Let's do it again on the other side of different angles. So you can see the double joint, you need to push it in like so. And then the door will be lined up in place. And next, we just simply push it in and lock it in place. Alright, all done now. Here you go. We have the Ferrari 458 aka the Transformer Dino. They roll really well. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention. They actually have a rubber tire on four of the wheels. That is amazing, isn't it? Now we can see they roll really, really well. I loved it. <laughs> To be honest, the vehicle mode it just looks fantastic, but I didn't have so much of wow effect. 
The reason is because I already own the Alien Attack version and in fact I do expect that this oversize should do a lot better but so far it doesn't disappoint me the color looked fantastic in the vehicle modes, even better than Alien Attack version. But the only downside is, if you see clearly, you can see the door side and the back side, they do have slightly color different problems. Other than that, I'm happy with what I got. Alright, let's get a closer look and check out all details, shall we? The first, we can see they have a big gap right at the door side. And next, I hope the camera can pick up the color difference. And you can see the door and the back side. The back side of the vehicle is present more darker red. And the tiller is printed in red and also silver in the middle and it looks great. The good news is they didn't take away the detail of this grill. Alright, you might see the big gap but no worry, this is original design from Ferrari 458 and this is how it's supposed to be. And I especially like the top part, they kept the original design. That two slide is actually the joint of the leg, now in the vehicle they become part of the engine. Such a shame they have removed the grill detail. As you can see in the picture, they do have the grill. And the logo is missing because this is not officially licensing by Ferrari. Alright, let's do a vehicle size comparison. We are welcome back our Black Mamba size wipe. As we can see, the size wipe actually slightly bigger than the Ferrari. I'm not sure it's the accurate size. But while I do it, I usually compare with the car wheel or sport links and estimate from that to get the accurate size. What do you think? If you know, you can leave the comments below and let me know. And next we compare with the MPM Bumblebee Camarons. As we can see the Ferrari is just too small compared with it. And here you go, you see the wheel, it's just one size too small. From there we just know this is not gonna be a right scale. Last but not least, we have to compare with the original design from Alien Attack. As you can see, it's like a father and sons. Except the side is definitely the color. And both of them looks identical from details. The difference we can see only missing the front bumper grille. Alright, here's the conclusion. For this BS01 oversized The Dance of the Dead aka Dino, I would say if you didn't get the original Alien Attack versions, it's still a good figure to get. And second, if your collections mainly is MPM range, this will work well on the robot mode but not in all the vehicle mode. If you are planning to display it in the robot mode, I would say just go ahead. Although it's not masterpiece quality, but the design looks of the robot mode is still the best in the market except the statue level. Alright, here's a wrap. I will end this video with the transformation from vehicle mode back to robot mode. If you like this video, please share and give us thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bells so you won't miss the coming soon video. I'll see you soon.